Hello. Thanks for joining me. Um, I wanted to, uh, actually I wanted to start off by reading a scripture and then kind of going from there. So uh, I wanted to read 1 John 4, 9, uh, 10, 16 through 19. This is the New Living Translation. So uh, it says, God showed how much he loved us by sending his one and only son into the world so that we might have eternal life through him. This is real love. That's just a cool thought that that's real love of how God expresses himself to us. And then our love is a response to the truth of God's love. And it's just something God's been really speaking about lately. And I just wanted to share a personal testimony, hoping that it would be encouraging to you guys. Um, but this scripture really sums it up. It says, Not that we have loved God, but that he loved us and sent his son as a sacrifice to take away our sins. We know how much God loves us, and we have put our trust in his love. God is love, and all who live in his love live in God, and God lives in them. And as we live in God, our love grows more perfect. So we will not be afraid on the day of judgment, but we can face him with confidence because we live like Jesus here in this world. Such love has no fear because perfect love expels all fear. If we are afraid, it is for the fear of punishment, and this shows that we have not fully experienced his perfect love. We love each other because he first loved us. And that's a a well-known scripture, and it's just so powerful that love casts out fear, you know. And uh, um, a few nights ago, I was in prayer with the, the crew here on uh, Thursday, and I was just asking, you know, the Holy Spirit that he would show me what he was doing so I could, you know, verbalize it. And uh, he gave me kind of like a, a picture that, just I didn't understand how impactful it was going to be at the time, but it just kind of progressed as you know the days went on. But uh, he gave me a picture of uh, I saw this foundation, and I knew the foundation represented faith in Jesus. You know, trusting in Jesus, our thoughts revolving around our faith in Him, so we're in agreement with the the Holy Spirit by walking in the truth that you know Jesus has conquered it all, that He's worthy to be trusted. And uh, then I saw at the very center of that foundation was God's love. So faith in Jesus, you know, is we're saved through our faith by God's grace. And the Holy Spirit's, you know, refining us and he's forming us to become Christ-like as we're in that place of faith. And then, you know, we've talked about we fall out of grace by trying to do it in our own strength, leaning on our own understanding. But it was such a cool picture because I was seeing that foundation and I saw the center of that foundation was God's love. And I heard the Father say, um, it'll never become more centered or more simplistic than this, than my love. And he said, I want to be glorified and I want to be known for my love. And I was like, oh man, that's super cool. Yeah, man, love. And... Um, then as the Holy Spirit continued to bring like revelation about it, it just, it really like, you know, was impacting me in a powerful way. And I got home and, you know, we had a great night sharing with one another and it was just, it was super cool. And I got home and I was texting one of my really good friends and we were talking back and forth about some of the stuff that, you know, God was doing and some of the stuff that we feel like God was saying that we didn't necessarily get to share with other people or whatever. And uh, so we were texting back and forth and it was getting later in the night and she fell asleep like really quickly and she had this dream and she texted me and she said, I just had this dream about you. And she said, well, it happened really fast, which is not uncommon for her, but she has a lot of God dreams. And, um, she said, I saw you as a little boy standing in front of this uh, closet door. And she said, you were wearing pajamas and you had this teddy bear. And she said, and I know 
that the the closet this door represented love like it was a new territory of god's love and i was like oh that's cool and i was kind of joking around with her but i felt like god was like hey stop like listen let me i'm showing you something here and so i basically saw the picture i saw myself i imagined myself as a little kid and i had this teddy bear and i remember this teddy bear that i had when i was a little kid that i was really really dependent on like i couldn't sleep without it it was totally my woobie and uh I was like, oh my gosh, I haven't thought about that teddy bear in forever. I miss it. It's been hard to sleep since I've had that. Just kidding. But uh, now I was like, man, I remember I was so dependent on it. I can remember losing it. My mom, she made me another one that was exactly the same because I loved this thing so much, you know, and I couldn't sleep without it. And it was just that it was my security blanket, you know. And so I saw myself as a little boy standing in front of this door and the Holy Spirit said, I'm 41, and the Holy Spirit said, it's taken me this long to bring you back to this place where you can be a little boy to receive the Father's love for you. I've been working your whole entire life to bring you out of agreement with the fear and the things that you've agreed with that separated you from receiving the Father's love. So I fight to bring you into agreement with the truth through faith in Jesus, ultimately bringing you to a place to where you can receive the Father's love and then your response to the Father's love is loving him back. That's worship. That's relationship. And just like that scripture I read, it was that love was casting out the fear, you know, and it's all by means of that foundation, which is our faith in Christ, which is giving the, you know, the Holy Spirit the constant go-ahead to you know, take of what's Jesus's and give it to us, like we've talked about before. And uh, I thought, man, that is so profound, you know, bringing me back, like how hard-headed am I, God, that it took that long. And it's just, we have a tendency to just agree with so much negative stuff that the enemy is constantly throwing at us in our thought life that we're giving permission to things to be there that don't belong there because Jesus has already conquered it, and it's pretty much just lies. And so the Holy Spirit, through faith, is constantly bringing us agreement, into agreement with the truth, and it's the truth that sets us free. And so uh, I was just like kind of taking this all in, and I said, okay, God, like I'll know this is you. Holy Spirit, I'll know this is you um, because I'm going to ask my friend, like that just had the dream what color the teddy bear is and I'll know for sure depending upon her response because the teddy bear that I had when I was a little kid was blue so it's not like a common you know color and so I texted her and I said hey like what color was the teddy bear in that dream you just had and she texted back one word blue and I was like dang and uh, since then God just been really like simplifying just the revelation that he sent his son as an expression of his love for us and ultimately his desire and his motivation is for us to receive that love to be safe to be content in that place of being loved and loving you know others from that place responding his love to loving them back and just you know, allowing circumstances and situations that are freeing us from religious pride, like trying to earn favor in our own strength and just surrendering that we can receive, you know, the, the comfort of the Holy Spirit. We can receive the love of God and then our actions motivated by a response to the truth as opposed to an overcompensating for fear. So I just hope that encourages you guys. I'm just incredibly thankful for uh yeah what god's saying and what he's doing and i know it's not just about me that you know god moves uh in the body like he does a lot of the same things at a lot of you know the same time in different people's lives but 